I'm here to bring you guys ABR vs Mimolet for ulti playoffs. If I don't sound motivated or make any mistakes, uh, I didn't get enough sleep, so I hope I can still bring a decent narration. Looking at the teams, Landris is the only rocker on ABR's side. It's gonna be Rox Lando. I assume it's gonna be a bulky Landris, that way it can check Zygarde. And it's most likely a bulky Skystrike Landris, that way ABR does not get like destroyed by Halucha. So, um, Fly, Earthquake, Rox. Last move could be HPS U turn or Smackdown. Then the Magnezone or Katana is Scarf, one of the two, maybe even both. Larius is gonna be Mega with Earthquake, Psychic, Roost. Last move could be Ice Beam, could be Draco, something along those lines. And Megina has to be Assault Vest, otherwise Greninja destroys ABR's team. And then his Greninja could be, I'm expecting Specs Battlebond, but I'm not sure, it could also be Brodian. Mimolite brings a Mega Medicham plus um, Tabu Lele, so then Headbutt gets boosted. Tenor Cruel, he has used this on a different team to qualify, and um, the set he usually uses is Scald, Ice Beam, Toxic Spikes, Rapid Spin, so I'm just expecting that set. Then, <clears throat> not sure which one is the Scarf on his team, like it could be the Scarf Lele or Scarf Tita maybe. I don't think the Megina is AV on his side, he has Tenor Cruel plus Tita plus Megina, um, can kind of check Greninja already, doesn't have to be AV Megina. But yeah, I'm expecting <clears throat> Defensive Landris for sure on Mimolet's side with rocks. Um, just to help with the Zygarde matchup. So we see Lando on Lando lead and ABR's Intimidate goes off first, uh, confirming that ABR's Landros is faster. Uh, ABR can probably just get up the rocks here. Mimolet can also get his rocks or he can go for HP Ice. Yeah, like I expect either HP Ice or rocks trade here turn 1. I'm not sure if ABR does have HP Ice on his Landros, like I said earlier. I just know he's gonna be... Um, Rocks, Earthquake, Skystrap most likely, and last move could be U-Turn, Smackdown, HPS. But yeah, um, I assume Mimolet is gonna get his rocks up turn 2 as ABI got his rocks turn 1. And, and now we see Skystrike actually doing quite a good chunk. So maybe ABI's Lander does have more attack investment than I thought. Or Mimolet has less bulk than I thought he would have. Now, I don't know if regular fly would kill. But I guess Mimolet could also scout for HPS. Yeah, ABI does Earthquake there. I think he predicted Mimolet to switch out to scout for HPIs, because ABI could definitely have HPIs. Uh, he just gets a slow U-turn there. Uh, he was either willing to sack the Landris or he um, expected ABR to not have HPIs. So he gets a slow U-turn. Uh, he can either go into Medicham or Tapu Lele here. Uh, both would be able to outspeed the Landris. And if Medicham comes out, it could click High Jump Kick. ABR doesn't have counterplay for that. I think High Jump Kick would definitely kill the Landris from this range without the Intimidate being up. And uh, if Lele comes out, that would force ABR into Megina most likely. Yeah, the Tita or the Lele has to be Scarf, I think, but I'm really not that sure. Because what is the Z-move user? Is that Megina? I, I, I don't know, dude. I cannot break his team down that easy. But yeah, Lele comes out, uh, ABR wants to keep the Landers as a sack, so I'm expecting him just to go hard into Megina here. Uh, Mimolet can... Like, if he has a tech like Nature's Madness, he can go for that to weaken the Megina. Otherwise, he can also pull a double here. Like, if you have nothing to hit the Lele hard with, then I think, uh, the Megina hard with, then I think doubling is a better play. If he does double into Landers, expecting the Megina to come out. Um, pretty sure ABR has. ABR is never gonna stay in here. Megina is pretty good in this match because it can check opposing Megina. If the opposing Megina is a shift gear or trick room set, uh, probably more so a shift gear set on this team. Trick room doesn't make that much sense. Um, ABI wants to keep the Megina to check opposing Megina and also check the Tabu Lele. And his Landris is already weakened. So I assume ABI is just gonna go back to his Landris here. Um, Mimolet could just Earthquake. He doesn't necessarily have to predict the Landris to come out. But I just don't see ABR staying in with the Megina here ever. Like, that just wouldn't make much sense to risk the Megina, that is still pretty valuable. When you have a Landris in the back that is already weakened, even if he breaks that and goes for HPIs, that's fine for ABR. He doesn't need the Landris, so he does just go out into Landris. Let's see if he predicts that or if he just just Earthquake. He does just Earthquake, and now ABR, uh, I assume he's just gonna go for Fly here if he doesn't have HPIs. If, if he has HPIs, that could come out, but Fly, um, would be um, able to pick off Mimus Lando, and we know ABI's Landris is faster. And let us, unless that was a speed tie turn one. No, no, I think his Landris outsped the opposing Landris twice already, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> so, potential play here would be hard into Megina or Tita, predicting the fly, and it will also cover HPIs. Um, 
Hmm. Like, it said the Tita is Scarf, it could come out here. Predicting HPIs or something like that. Nah. Nah, if Tita is Scarf, I think then it would outspeed and then it would not work on a fly. I also don't think Tita is Scarf, but I'm just like trying to think. What would you do here? I'm pretty sure ABS is gonna fly. Especially if he doesn't have HPIs. Um, what is Mimo's play? I mean, he can just stay in and sack the Landers if he wants to. Because it would definitely go down to a fly. But if he's uh, sure that ABR is going to go for fly, he could potentially go to T-Tar if he's a slower T-Tar than the Landers, if he's not Scarf. Which, um, yeah, Bandit t is, I guess, likely on this team. Bandit t could trap Ladis. Um, Ladis are... Like, Ladis outspeed Medicham and can threaten it out, so t could help trap them for Medicham, I guess. What else does t trap that annoys Medicham? Can't think of that much at the moment. Oh yeah, Re Reuniclus obviously helps with Reuniclus, and that walls Medicham otherwise. And he has Toxic. Um, he has Reun He has Tox. <laughs> I cannot talk. He has Tender Cruel to absorb Toxic Spikes, which means uh, Reuniclus plus Toxic Spikes, which is pretty common in OU at the moment. You can uh, check that by having a Dark type plus a T Spike Absorber, as he does U-turn there, willing to sack the Landers. Maybe I went for Fly. Um, not sure if there's... Is there a point in going into her heart and Tita or Magina here, letting them take a fly? I mean, if Tita or Magina outspeed and he knows, then it's an okay play, but otherwise I think it's a misplay. So, fly comes out as he goes, Tita crits him for 30%. But, um, maybe I can just off-quake here. And if Tita is faster, then ABR knows that it's probably Scarf, right? And otherwise, he's fine. So he goes back in the landers, but he takes rocks, he let the Tita get chipped. That's completely fine for ABR. Also, Katana goes completely in. I didn't talk about this yet. Katana goes in on Mimolet's team, so he does just fly again. Um, it's still gonna kill from 17%, so I assume he's just gonna sack. No, he goes Magina, so he's letting everything take a little bit of chip. Um, if the Katana turns out to be Scarf, this is really good chip, as he um, is Sugar Berry Magina, yeah. Um, otherwise, this would have been a bad play, letting this take the Earthquake. And now he can go for... Probably... I if he has Ice Beam, he obviously clicks that here. Uh, ABR can... Either sack the Landris, or he can go hard to his own Megina. Because, like I said, his own Megina is... I'm pretty sure it's AV. And can deal with opposing uh, setup Megina. So it's a potential play to go hard into it. But he might also want to keep it more healthy for the Lele. Um, so he, yeah, Flash King comes out, that's also a good coverage move right there, that hit Lando and incoming Megina. Abia going into Katana, that confirms that he's Choice Scarf, otherwise he would have gone... Um, otherwise he would have gone into the Megina. And yeah, Choice Scarf Katana does outspeed plus two Megina, and Abia is free to click Smart Strike here, which would kill the Megina from this range. And Mimolet's only Smart Strike resist is Tenacruel, which is not a good Smart Strike resist, but I think he has to go into Tenacruel. Which can probably barely live to smart strikes, uh, which means it can force the Kartana out and either go for rapid spin or. I don't think there's a point in setting up T spikes, it only hits the grin. Yeah, this is looking bleak for him because the way ABR brings this out, it's obvious that he's Choice Scarf. And I think Choice Scarf Kartana just wins this game. Like, he can just smart strike here that weakens the Tenor Cruel. Is this like 30 or 40? 35, yeah. Black Sludge. Uh, Maybe I can just switch out now and when he comes back in later, uh, he can just clean up the game with Katana later. Uh, he can switch out here into his Magiana or into his Ladi. No, no he, he doesn't want to go Ladi and Ice Beam maybe. Huh. I don't know what he wants to go to here. He does go into Ladi. Okay, I thought he wouldn't want to take an Ice Beam potentially, but he doesn't need Ladi too, too much. So I don't think Mimolet wants to go hard into Tenda, uh, hard into Tita on a potential Earthquake, so he does just go Landris. ABR Psychic, so this way he, now he can go into Tita. And I think you click Crunch here, because it's really obvious that um, Pursuit is an option. And ABR wants to at least get damage of Natita exactly, he gets damage of with Earthquake. And Mimolet sacked the Landris to get off the Intimidate, but now this just lets the Kartana in. Scarf Kartana can just come out and... Uh, Leaf Blade, I think, might just sweep. <laughs> Leaf Blade just sweeps, right? Because you leaf plate, you get a beast boost. 
I think the Megina is low to the point where it dies to plus one Leaf Blade. So I'm pretty sure this Kartana just wins right here, right now, as Blunder would say. Does he say that? I think he does sometimes. Um, yeah, I hope I don't see anything. The weather here is horrible. There's a wild storm outside. I, I don't know why you would ever bring a team that is this weak to Kartana. I didn't realize it at first, but even if he Scarf Lily, he's slower and he dies to plus one Leaf Blade. Medicham is slower, dies to Leaf Blade. Everything dies to Leaf Blade, because the um, Megina took an Earthquake, even though it was Sugarberry, it obviously got weakened into range. So Megina comes out, that's his only hope. Uh, I mean, ABI has to run the Kalk, but I'm pretty sure that kills, and he just clicks it so he knows it kills. I mean, that's a plus one Kartana versus offensive Megina, and Mimulet has GG, is just gonna forfeit, or is he gonna sack all his mons? Katana gonna get thumbnail here, Katana just bopped him, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, I will see you with game 2 in a bit. And hopefully um, game 2 is gonna be a bit closer, because this was just Katana going in <laughs> after some chip was done to his team.